Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Um, today I'm going to be going over a, the 10 minute look. So, this is just a quick way you can um, put your face on uh, and uh, not get too fussy with it. These are some of my favorite Synergence products, and, um, and I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please um, comment and I'll do my best to answer. Um, so, I'm just going to first start out with um, my favorite thing it's the eye illuminator. So, this is a um, so basically this I put under my eyes. So we'll just start out and I use my ring finger because this is the weakest finger on your hand. So you don't, this is a sensitive area. You do not want to get too aggressive with that, all right? So you just dot that on and basically this is gonna give you a little bit of a glow, kind of highlights, it also moisturizes. This is an area as we get older, it starts to dry out, has the Cynoderm complex in there and um, and basically it's gonna, it actually combines the um, Cynoderm eye cream and, I know I make all these crazy faces, and, um, and the Make Sense Pearlizer. So it's a great um, combo of two of our really popular products. And so it brightens and highlights as well as moisturizes. So this is color concealer. And uh, there's multiple products for a lot of different skin tones. You can actually um, color correct, highlight, but this is what I use under my eye. It's water resistant, doesn't crease, doesn't fade during the day. I put it actually in the corner of my eye too here. And um, just dot that along. And uh, And then we're gonna actually I have a, a sponge that I've actually wet prior to us joining each other. And I'm just gonna blot that out a little bit here so I can actually not have a hard line. Here, I'm looking at it. The color concealer actually um, has the anti-aging properties in there and it also comes in five different shades. So, now that I have that, I'm gonna go with the translucent powder. Now this actually comes in three different shades. So this is the natural shade. This color is what I recommend to everybody because it actually has a, um, well here, let's prime it first and I can talk while I'm putting it on. So prime it just by this and it has a powder um, brush built in. So you see, okay? So I'm gonna pull my hair back a little bit. I don't want too much. You just want to knock the shine down if you have a little bit of shine, but this actually is oil absorbing, so it actually will keep you shine free pretty much all day and um, without drying you out. So then after I put that on, then I just take this fluffy brush that I have, I like this, kind of just buffs it all over my face. But there's three different shades. It comes in a bronze, it comes in a, ro a silver rose, and then this natural color. Natural color is actually what I recommend to most people because it actually <clears throat> will have a, it has a color um, match technology that matches most skin tones. So that's what I usually recommend. Next thing I'm gonna do, so first thing obviously that lured me in, it lures everybody in, is the lip scents. Okay, but second thing was the blush. We'll get to that at the end. But the third thing that lured me in, I'm addicted to, is the shadow sense. So this stuff, I love it. So it stays on all day, comes in a variety of shades. You can mix it up. It goes on like silk, truly. And um, I just, I love it. I can't say enough positive things about it. So this, so um, these are my favorite as a base, okay? So basically, put that on a little blob here, a little blob there. Um, but you can also use this as a concealer, okay? So I use it as a base coat um, to just cover up like, you know, I have some veiny eyes, like I see my veins in my eyes. And um, some a little pink too. So if I wanna have a natural looking lid, I can just leave it like this. And um, it's a cream to powder, water resistant, and uh, it stays on all day. It doesn't crease. If you do not take it off, 
and it doesn't come off until you take it off um, pretty much and um, if I put it on in the morning at 6 a.m. it is still on if I go out that night I do not have to touch it up I mean <laughs> it's amazing I can't say enough amazing things about it so sometimes like if I wanted to leave it right there I would okay so for a 10 minute look this would be pretty good so this but candy cocoa is a limited edition and I think garnet is too I should know that let me check on that I can't keep up with them because I have them all I'm addicted all right so boom 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 okay these are really concentrated so a little bit goes a long way okay but I like to put a little garnet just a little touch a little touch just one one dot I put three dots of um, candy cocoa shimmer it's like my new favorite color okay and I use a brush like this okay so I'll just you know go along my, my crease you could pre-mix that too but this is what I do Okay, we're gonna go back and make that a little prettier in just a second and I'll show you how. So, um, it's very workable, goes on like silk, and it looks amazing. Candy Cocoa Shimmer. Um, and if, for some reason, you're watching this at a later date and they don't have Candy Cocoa Shimmer any longer, you can certainly substitute Mocha Java very popular color, kind of similar. Has a little different tone to it, more brown, but another very popular color. Okay, here's a brush that I love for buffing out, sort of like a little tiny powder brush that I just was using. Okay, see how nicely that buffs out? Look at that. And you really can't mess this up, honestly. You can also, when you get finished, if you get a little too crazy up there, you can take that base coat, put another little swipe up there to highlight your brow bone, which actually is nice, okay? I'm sure that plenty of you guys have children, husbands, wives, roommates. Everybody needs some time to themselves, right? It's important to do that. Sometimes it's nice to just shut yourself in the bathroom and take 10 minutes to yourself. So that's what we're doing right now. I do have a dog in the floor. She's being really good right now. Shocking. So, all right. Now what I'm gonna do, um, so that was my eye. Okay, that was pretty quick, right? Here's another one of my favorite products. And I pretty much never go without eyeliner. So um, we have a liquid, but we also have this new um, long lasting eye scent. It comes in black and brown. Black is my color. And um, so it goes on like silk. It's a common theme, right? And, um, and it smudges really great and it's long lasting and water resistant and it stays on and, until you take it off. Okay. I take a flat brush like this, see this? And then I just, I have to pull my eyelids out. I can't do it without doing that. Some people can. Do you guys hear my cat meowing? this is real life <laughs> give me attention like a child okay so so that was eyeliner like that's quick right so looks pretty huh I mean this is one of my favorite things they also have a liquid so if you prefer a liquid definitely have that um, it's long-lasting waterproof all that jazz okay so before we do that so here's a little tip that I do um, before I put my mascara on Curl. Everybody asks me how I get my eyes looking, my eyelashes looking so amazing. Okay, tip. Hair dryer, metal curler. Really quick hit with the low heat. So I'm going to do that real quick so you're not going to be able to hear me. Not real hot because it gets hot. Okay, you're going to touch it with your finger first so you don't burn your eyelid. Okay. 
and then look at my lashes now. Okay, and then you're gonna look at them after I finish. So I usually rub it off like that just so it's not so hot. Okay, see that? Okay, now watch this. Okay, now when I put mascara on that, it's gonna look really nice. Okay. So this mascara is the new Lash Sense Volume Intense Mascara. It comes in waterproof and regular. And um, I love the non-waterproof personally. That's my preference, but it has a waterproof version if that is what your preference is. Um, I usually do like three coats, coats and I'm not going to talk while I do this because it's going to take me longer. So, but you want to do a squiggly motion down, okay? Okay, so you want to squiggle to get it on there real good. Now if it gets clumpy, I have a little metal comb that I use. This, this mascara goes on pretty good. It doesn't get real clumpy, honestly. I don't have that trouble. And another little tip, if you find that your mascara gets a little thick, because maybe you don't put on mascara very often, you can put a little um, saline solution in there to thin it up a little bit. Alright, so, there's that. Last thing that we're going to do, blush scents. This is my second obsession. There are seven different colors, okay? So, cherry and toasted... Um, Toasted Rose are my two favorite colors. A little bit goes a long way. When I say a little bit, you see those two little dots on the end of that brush? A little bit, okay. So this also actually comes in a terracotta, a bronze, pouty pink, which I use more as a highlighter because it's a little light for my skin tone, um, and um, chocolate cherry. And pink berry, which is another really good color that I like. Terracotta, which is really good for warm skin tones, and uh, I, think, I think I covered them all. So, um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Final thing that I do would be, of course, my brows if I want them popping, and then of course my lips. So before I do my lips, I will take a Q-tip with some Witch Hazel or Oops Remover, clean it off. Get all that extra product off, and then, because there's a lot of stuff on there, we'll clean my eyebrows off and make those look perfect. And that's it. Hope you guys got some tips and like what you saw. Thank you for joining, and join me again. All right. Have a good Sunday.